This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the model fix function to test whether distortion is present. Various forms of distortion in the field can complicate utility locating. For a detailed discussion of the types of distortion and strategies for dealing with them when they arise, see application note AN100 and the user guide. First, turn on the model fix checkbox from page 3 of the line panel. Back on FieldSense, the screen will read No Model Fix. Here we'll begin on the left side of the utility line. Notice the black dB value in the upper left corner of the screen. Our goal will be to maximize that dB value as we move laterally over the utility line. To do this, sometimes it's useful to set the dB offset, the gray number below the dB value, to zero by tapping it. As we move closer to the utility line, we notice that the dB value increases. Once we move over the line, we notice it begins to decrease. When we go towards the line again, we can pinpoint the highest dB value by finding the highest offset, in this case around 1.56 or 1.57. Remember that at this point, it doesn't matter what is the blue model line calculated by the SPAR. Only pay attention to finding the greatest signal strength. While in our case the greatest signal strength happens to be almost on top of the model line, this is not true in every case. Standing over this point, go to Measure, then Utility Peak. A circular green bubble should fall over the point you're standing on. To discover whether there is significant signal distortion, First move to the left of the peak. Watch the size of the red confidence box, the alignment of the green peak mark and the blue line, and the depth value on the upper right hand side. When you moved to the left of the peak, none of these changed significantly. The depth estimate is about 1 meter. Now move to the right side of the line and observe these same things. Here, again, there are no major changes in the confidence box or depth value, and the blue peak line and peak mark are still aligned. The three questions you should ask yourself are, one, does the red confidence box markedly change in size on the left side compared to the right? Two, do the blue utility line and green peak mark change in alignment from the left to the right side? 3. Are the computed depth values at left, right, and center out of the predicted error margin? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, the SPAR may be experiencing significant signal distortion that can affect the accuracy of its position readings. In this example, the first two answers are definitely no since the confidence box and alignment didn't change. Back on page 1 of the line panel, we can see that the standard deviation for depth is 6 to 7 centimeters. None of the depth values we found in this example were more than 6 or 7 centimeters away from each other, so we know the answer to the third question is also no. We can now judge that the SPAR is reading a very circular field with little to no signal distortion in a clean environment. 